All right, welcome back again. Uh, so we're going to take a quick detour on our like crud war path. So we did create and read. So we still need to do update and delete. Uh, we're going to take a little detour to make a special like message when there's no movie quotes. Uh, so if you go back into your app uh, and you find uh, and you find the uh, the view did load area, uh, comment out uh, the two hard quoted quotes we've got uh, and go ahead and run it. And what's going to happen is it's going to work fine. It's just going to be an empty table, right? And to be honest, that there's no big deal. There's nothing wrong with an empty table. But I prefer a little message, right? I, I prefer to say something that's like, you know, there are no movie quotes. Uh, I just kind of like that kind of thing. And to be honest, it's going to fit in well with what we do later. Uh, so, like, later we're going to do, like, back-end development. We're going to want a spinner that just, like, we're loading the movie quotes. Uh, and then they'll show up. And so we're just going to kind of prepare for that from day one. Right, so we're going to prepare for that right here. So um, it's going to add complications, uh, but but you know you'll thank me later. That uh, a monk, uh, if you watch the TV show, I used to say that all the time. All right, special empty message that says no movie quotes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the storyboard first, and we're going to make a new prototype. So go ahead and open up the storyboard. The easiest way to make a new prototype is just to click on the old one, hit Control C, sorry Command C. I like to click on the table view, I'm not sure if it's required or not, and then hit Control V, Command V, and it'll give you a copy uh, of the old prototype for you to start modifying. So this new prototype, what we want it to do is we want it to be a type basic. Uh, we want the identifier to say no movie quote cell. As soon as I type an identifier, like I just I just have to get it on my clipboard and go put it in the code. Um, it, it's <laughs> Kind of a, a blessing and a curse uh, to, uh, to be OCD about these kind of things. Still got Monk on my mind. I love that TV show. Uh, and so we'll just go ahead and copy this over. I'm going to add the word identifier just to make my variable names as long as possible. Uh, and I'm going to have to say no movie quote cell. So that's great. Uh, come back over into the storyboard. The only thing that we needed to add here is we actually wanted to, instead of saying title, we actually want to put the text right here in the storyboard. The nice thing about putting it in the storyboard is then we don't have to configure it later, right? Uh, so I'll just say no movie quotes, um, and that's just part of my prototype. And that's going to work out really easy because later there's no configuration, so that's great. So now we've got a prototype. Uh, that's super. We've got to use it. In order to use it, we've got to start telling some, some lies, right? Some little lies. Um, and one of the lies we've got to tell is the number of rows. So when it asks us the number of rows, if we just return the, the size of the array, when it's at zero, nothing will show. So what we really want to do is we want to say the max between the, the size of the array and one, right? So that way there's a lower bound. If you always get at least one row. If you do that, that's great. Um, if you only did that, it would, it would cause your app to crash because whenever you try to the cell for it, it would say, hey, I've got no, no rows, uh, and so that would be bad. So our strategy is that we're going to kind of make a special case. Uh, so we're going to say, when movie quotes count is equal to zero, we'll do you know, this one thing, and then when it's non-zero, we're going to do something different. So the stuff that we did before is kind of the, the non-zero area, so that's kind of what we did before. Uh, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pick the appropriate type of cell uh, in each case. So in one case, we're going to want to DQ um, a no movie quote cell. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Instead of being a let, uh, it's just going to have to be a var now. Um, and it's going to be a UI table view cell either way. It's just that in one case, the type of cell that's going to get DQ'd is going to be a no movie quote cell identifier. And then if there are movie quotes, you're going to DQ you know, the movie quote cell identifier, um, and you're going to configure it just like we did before, right? Uh, so that's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, and so you can run it now. Assuming that you don't have those two hard-coded from before, you actually should get your message right out of the box, uh, which is great. So it just says no movie quotes. I kind of like things like that. It's going to be more important later once we do backend stuff. We're not done yet, though. Um, and if you want to see why, click on Add Quote. 
uh, and it doesn't matter what you type. Uh, so I'm just going to type Crash City. Um, and so I hit Create Quote, uh, and sure enough, there's the explosion I promised, right? If you read this error message, it says the number of uh, rows in the section after the update, uh, which right now is one, must be equal to the number of rows before, which was one, plus or minus, it's usually uh, plus in this case, plus uh, one inserted, right? So it should be one plus one, um, but you after only have one, and once one plus one is not one, so it crashed. Where did that come from in our code is the real question. And the place it came from in our code uh, is the add uh, quote area. Uh, so when we added a quote, we actually said right here, uh, we're inserting a quote and we're adding a row. Turns out we're going from one row to one row, so it crashed. Uh, and that actually makes sense. And that's because our special case uh, caused extra trouble, right? It told you it was going to add complications. I mean, that was in the, uh, that was in the warning from the get-go, right? Extra complications. Um, and so we're going to have to special case... Uh, when it's the first one added. So when it's not the first one, uh, we can do just what we did before, so no big deal there. But when it's the first one, we're going to have to do something different. I chose to, uh, to be a little lazy uh, and let my animation go uh, and just reload the data. So reload the data, it's, it's more like robust, it's more foolproof, it's actually sometimes more efficient, um, which is weird. Um, but there's no animation. All right, so I'm going to run it now, uh, and my special case is going to fix that uh, when you add the first row, um, that there's no actual row added. So now it should work, and I'll say, uh, you know, earmuffs or some real quote. Uh, and when I add it here, it's going to suddenly appear, uh, which is okay, but it's going to not crash, right? So suddenly appeared. Um, and then, you know, later quotes uh, should actually do real things. So when I add this one, you actually will see the little animation. So it does the little animation down and down. Cool. So we've got our special message. Uh, when there are no movie quotes, uh, it's going to, like, fit into some things we do later. Um, and it's just a little, a little nice feature uh, that I like to do for users. The only thing that wasn't great about it is we did lose our animation on the first one entered. And I've decided that I'm okay with that. All right, so that's actually it for this time with our special message. Uh, come back next time, and we'll get back on our CRUD warpath. See you then.